Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. If you don't already know who it is, it's the one and only, the true Alex J. And today, I'm gonna to be answering the question, is cannabis a good business to start in 2017? Marijuana legalization advocates are still unsure on Donald Trump's position. It means that they're not sure if he's pro-marijuana or if he's against marijuana. He hasn't made his position clear. Now this is extremely important to understand when considering starting a business. If the president is against marijuana, then obviously he's gonna make it very difficult and he's gonna start making crackdowns on laws against marijuana, which means that you're gonna find it very difficult to grow your business, get it, grow. At the same time, if he's pro-marijuana, then it means it's a fantastic time for you to start your business right now because it means that you're going to be able to grow your business very quickly um, as there won't be much competition in those places. Voters in eight states joined the legalization movement on November 8th, which means there's more states, meaning you'll be allowed to do a marijuana business, which is absolutely fantastic. Now there's still quite a lot of different laws and regulations. Um, you can have a look at those online. And um, there's a lot of laws about how far away you have to be from the school, you know, the size of the business, about, um, about how big the property itself has to be, how well isolated it is, and how well insulated it is. There's so many different regulations so you definitely, definitely, definitely need to be looking at the law in your local area and you need to be getting regular updates. Now me personally, if I was going to start a business now, again, doesn't mean I'm pro or against, but I want to give you the advice on this. Now if I was to grow a business um, in the marijuana industry, I would make sure to speak to a lawyer. I really want to be up to date with everything that's happening right now. Are the laws changing? What are the regulations? What's happening? You really need to really think about this. This isn't just a small operation. You don't just jump in and say, you know what? I'm going to sell pot legally. It's great. I'm going to make loads of money. Now, obviously, on the news, a lot of people are seeing that marijuana makes a lot of money. I remember in one state, they said that they made so much in tax that they actually had to give money back to the citizens, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Donald Trump's planned attorney general of Alabama, Jeff Sessions, is a vocal opponent, which means he does not want marijuana legalized. So again, it means that if he's put in that position, then there's a very good likelihood that they're gonna start pushing against people being able to start marijuana businesses, and they're also gonna be cracking down on the laws, meaning that it'd be very difficult to be able to continue that business on, especially if there's laws going against what's already been legalized. Ian Eisenberg, managing director of Uncle Ike's, Seattle's biggest marijuana retailer and the second largest in Washington. And Washington is one of the first states to legalize recreational use. He said, and I quote, is possible but not likely in regards to would they crack down on the laws if Donald Trump is made president. So he said it's possible but not likely. Now of course that sounds great if that's the kind of business you're looking to start, but you have to bear in mind that he's already in the industry. So of course he's gonna have an optimistic view on things, especially if he's got investors already putting their money inside a business. He doesn't wanna scare the investors. So he wants to say, look, it's absolutely fine, we'll be fine, I'm optimistic. But you need to be able to do your own research. Again, personally, I'd speak to a lawyer if that's the kind of route that you're gonna get involved in. I personally wouldn't even get involved in it yet. I would wait until you find out Donald Trump's position. And once that's been made clear, then you can make a call on that. Nate Bradley, Executive Director of the California Cannabis Industry Association, said to USA Today, we are hopeful that Donald Trump supports state rights, which means that he's hopeful that Donald Trump will allow each state to regulate themselves, to be able to create their own laws, which means that he won't be a governing body and create laws across the whole nation, right? Which means that he won't remove the legalization that's already taken place. Now again, this is great news for people who want to get into the marijuana industry. Again, there's a lot of money in it and there's very low overheads, but you have to be very careful. Now, the way that I look at things is, I wouldn't personally want to be getting set up in growth. I wouldn't want to be trying to grow marijuana. For me, what makes sense is, a long time ago in the gold rush, it said that the people that made the most money were the people selling the shovel, not the people finding gold. And I'd say this is the perfect opportunity for people to find a way of making money from the marijuana industry without directly growing. Now, a friend of mine in the US, he sells these marijuana cutters, right? They cut the leaves. I don't know exactly the technical specifications. I don't smoke weed and weed's not even legal here. But these machines, they cut the leaves. And he makes a really good living selling these machines to marijuana growers. Now, that's 
a great way of being able to make a lot of money from the marijuana industry without having to grow the marijuana yourself. So there's a lot of opportunities in the marijuana industry without having to grow. And me personally, that's the route that I would advise. I would advise you, instead of trying to get into a battle against the law, where you never know if one day it's gonna be legal, or one day it's not, or one day the president's pro, or if he's against, because you're not sure, Instead of sitting around in uncertainty, I personally, I would say, go ahead and make money from the industry, but in a different way. Look at it in a different light. Just because a lot of people are making money growing it, there's other ways to make money from that industry. So me personally, I would say to you, do your research, speak to a lawyer, but again, I would recommend you take the alternative route and make money in that fashion. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like and a comment below so that I can get your feedback. Please make sure to also subscribe. There's so many videos already on my channel and there's a lot more coming all towards entrepreneurs, business owners, and startups. Thank you again for watching. In the meantime, peace.